Hey guys, so you want to track button clicks as a conversion. Um, so on this landing page, for example, you want to track every time somebody clicks on speak to a scientist. Um, if this landing page or the landing page you're working on does not have a thank you page URL that you can tag, um, this is another way of doing it. You can say, hey, every time somebody fills this out and clicks on here, uh, we want to <coughs> me, track that as a conversion in Google Ads. So how do we do that? Well, first step is you have to have Google Tag Manager installed on the landing page. Um, you can see my other video on how to do that, but it's pretty easy to set up a Google Tag Manager on a page. And then once we're in here, um, you're going to see, uh, you know, this dashboard here. So we've got it installed. We have no tags. There are no triggers. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is we, we're going to need to be able to track um, clicks on a page. Um, Google Tag Manager needs to see that. So step one: click on variables. Um, click on configure and then scroll into clicks and I always just select all of these um, and usually if this is easy hopefully we can just identify the click text but if not sometimes other ones of these come into play select them all click submit click publish skip <coughs> excuse me again all right so now that that's done we're gonna need a trigger so click on triggers click new and just title it all clicks trigger configuration click all elements all clicks save and submit okay so we have that trigger set up now so we should be able to see clicks in the landing page so copy the URL click on preview this window will open up paste the URL and click connect after you paste it in <clears throat> I always separate them here continue so this is your um, tag assistant window open this is the tag assistant so um, let's start clicking around as you can see it's starting to say oh there's a click there's a click there's a click that's great so we're on click number 12 let's just click on speak to a scientist that's click 13 obviously it didn't go through because I didn't type anything in but we're going to get what we need from that so 13 was the click variables and this is where all this information comes in that we identified um, click text is undefined so let's see if we can find something else um, to label as click ID is 876 let's see every click has a different looks like almost a different number but the click ID is 876 page pass click element it's just like a lot of stuff to put in there. So let's try click ID. Um, worst case scenario, you can go to the people developing the landing page and tell them like, hey, I need you to uh, label this, you know, with submit or whatever it is. Um, okay, let's copy this number for now. And we can close out of this. We can go back into here. Go to triggers. New. Label that. Go back to clicks, some clicks, and then it's going to be click ID equals and that number. And click save. So now it's there. And then click submit. Publish skip. Okay, so that's done. Give me one second. I'm gonna open up the Google Ads account. Okay, we have the Google Ads account open in front of us, and we're going to go to Tools and Settings, click on Conversions, and New Conversion Action. Website is going to ask you for the domain URL, which we may scan. Unfortunately, we can't do a button click, so we have to add the conversion manually. We're going to make it a <coughs> submit lead form. I always just rename it like speak to a scientist button. So we know exactly what it is. Uh, da -da, account, count one of them, because sometimes people will click twice, for instance, if they you know put their name and title and company name, they don't put their email and it doesn't let them go through. We don't want to count that as two clicks. We just want to count it as one. 
Um, you can change this however you want. I just leave it the default way and click it that way. Settings. One. Done. Oh, save and continue. Okay, now we have this. So what we need to do is we need to install this onto Google Tag Manager. So there used to be a nice way of, oh, use Google Tag Manager. Perfect, there it is. All right, so we need these two things. So first off, we're going to copy the conversion ID. Just copy that, jump into Tag Manager here, go back to Workspace, and we're going to click on the tag and install this tag, then assign it to that trigger. Click on New, Google Ads Conversion, Configuration is going to be Google Ads Conversion Tracking. That number that we copied, paste it there. Go back here, copy this, paste it there. And the trigger is Speak to a Scientist button click, which is going to fire when that click ID fires. So um, hopefully we, we, we pick that up. Sometimes you'll have to experiment a little bit. Sometimes not everything works the first time in this world. Um, so we will see but we'll test it out now. Okay, workspace, copy the URL. So we've got our tag, um, add conversion linker. I always just, just do this, just conversion. Um, click save, submit, publish, skip. Okay, workspace. Now let's test that out and see if it works. So we've got our Google Ads Conversion Speak to a Scientist button click, Google Ads Conversion Tracking firing on this. So does go here. Sorry, just cleaning this up. I like to be organized. So that's done. It's unverified. So let's fire it. Click Preview. It's connecting. It's taking too long. Paste in the URL, connect. Okay, so we are here and here. And we can see tags not fired is the tag that we just set up. So let's click around. So we're doing all these, oh, we're you know, looking at stuff. Um, that's another button we can track that in a second. It probably has a different click ID than this one, but let's just see. If we click there. On the 10th click, tags fired. Speak to a specialist, it fired. As you can see on the ninth click, when we were clicking around, it did not fire. Let's, we're on 12, let's click this one, see maybe if it just happens to have the same click ID. Nope, no, no. See? So it worked. Now, let's get this one, which was the 13th click, or this button here, just to be sure. Number 15, click ID, variables. See, that click ID is different. Copy that. Uh, we can X out of this, we can X out of this, go into triggers, click, uh, actually maybe we can just do this, All right, let's try when these, when these events occur and all these conditions are true. So I don't think we want to do that because it'd be, you know, this button or this click ID or that one. So we'll just set up another one real quick. So new trigger. Speak to a scientist um, below fold button click. Just so you remember which one's which. Not that it really matters because they're both the same button. Some clicks, click ID equals, paste it in, click save. And then we're going to go into um, tags. And we're going to edit this tag. Triggering, I think we can do. We're going to add another one. Yep, so that or that. Click Submit, Publish, Skip. X out Workspace. All right, so now we have that button identified and this button identified. So let's test it out. Go into Preview, Connect. OK, it has connected. Continue. And let's click around. So seven, eight, nine. We're on nine. We'll go down here. Okay, I want to speak to a scientist. The tenth click. 
Google Ads Conversion, Speak to a Scientist, button, click, fired. All right, that's 11, 12, 13, 14, number 13, it did not fire, 12, it did not fire, 14, it did fire. Um, so that just means now that uh, this tag is live and tracking, and we know that it's tracking every time some, or not every time, it's tracking one click on this. So even if a person clicks here, if a person clicks here as well, remember we set it up to only track one of those. So it's not going to duplicate. We only want one, it'll count one conversion. When would you want it to duplicate if you're tracking a sale or something like that? Um, and every sale matters, but in this case, lead generation, stuff like this, we just want to track one. Um, so this is all set now. If you guys have any questions, feel free. You know, I do try to respond to the comments, so um, feel free to ask any questions you have about your setup. But that is a, a basic setup, identifying a button click. I showed you how to identify the um, specific button click um, by using the different click variables and then install that uh, through Google Tag Manager um, using a Google AdWords tag um, on Google Tag Manager. So yeah, hopefully that you guys find value in that. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks so much.